Hi and welcome everybody. It's Ruth and May. <laughs> on the channel tonight and I thought it'd be nice to use Dragonfly Garden because this is what us demonstrators who are attending on stage this uh, weekend have been using. I didn't actually get a chance to do the make and shares today so I thought, I'm, you know what, I'm just going to do it my style, do it Ruth's style and see what happens because you guys are going to be seeing probably loads of stuff on social media. If you follow other demonstrators, they'll be sharing some of the makes that they've made. And I thought, you know, I may as well just try and do something a little bit different. So hello to everybody. Welcome. Happy Friday night. Hopefully this will be a quite a relaxed event. We're just going to chill out, make some cards, make some prettiness and see how it, see what happens. So I've got a wheel of colours on my laptop, I'll just quickly show you. There we go, look, we've got to spin the wheel here. So May said that she's going to spin the wheel for me and we're going to then write down the colours that come up on my, you'd like my blue grid paper. Go on then May, go for it. Uh, you clip on. There you go. There, I think. Oh. Okay, so spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Oi, flirty flamingo. Okay, so if you take remove, I'll write that down. Do another one. Oh, oh. What? Oh, remove that. Oh, okay. That's just a gap. Let's try again. Of all the things we could have got, we got the gap. I know. I don't know how that happened. Oh, oh, oh! Granny apple green. Right next. Hi, everybody. Everyone is well. Uh, joining us. Welcome if you're watching the replay, and we're just choosing some colours. I've got to keep going until I'm happy with the you selection. Got pink and green. That's nice. The colours I was seeing you like before. <laughs> oh. No way! So saffron. What does so saffron look like? That's a yellow as well. Ooh. A yellow, sorry, not as well. A yellow. Right, go on, another one. See what happens if we can get something a bit darker. Oh, oh, cherry cobbler. All right, then we'll stick with those and see what see what we can make with those. If anyone wants to play along at home, I'll tell you the colours again while we get them all out. So, May, do you want to read those out, and then I'll grab the ink colours. Um. Flirty Flamingo. I can't tell you are writing. Granny Apple Green. <laughs> and you put just the one letter. Lushing somewhere. Bride. I know the last one. I thought you knew these colours. Cherry Cobbler. Do um, you know these colours? You should know these colours. Yeah, but it's a bit confusing. <laughs> Hi, Esther. Okay, so these are the colours we've got. Now, I envisaged creating what I'd like, really like to do is get the shimmer white cardstock and do a really lovely watery colory background with some of the shimmer paint we've got so really shimmery background then stamp maybe with a darker color so maybe we'll we'll make the colors that background in these colors and then we'll stamp it in the cherry cobbler that's what I'm thinking so let's get some bits of card out and I'll just check. Oh, I've got some of that lovely shimmery cardstock here. I'm going to get my silicone mats because we're going to get a little bit inky. And I we can do with a little bit of a gloss. And also, I could get my YouTube up so I can actually see your comments so that I don't have to rely on looking at the screen. I can tell you. Screen. 
Ooh, everyone's saying hi, Esther. All <laughs> right. Hi, Esther. Hello. <laughs> hi, everybody. So we're going to use these colours to make a nice background. I did turn off the sun. Oh, okay. Okay, right. Hi, Nessa. Hi, Janine, Christine, Julie, Valerie, Connie. Oh, hello, Kay. Hi, Kay. Uh, how fun is this way of picking colours? It is, isn't it, Julie? I we love a we love a spinny wheel. It it just adds a kind of sense of drama. Hi, Connie. Right, so I've got a, a cloth just in case it all goes wrong. I've also got where's my spritzers? I've got a little spritzer here. So this is quite a fun technique to do, where you just put some colour directly onto your silicon mat. Oh, I think that needs re-inking. Now I did promise everybody that I was going to show you how to re-ink, didn't I? And I forgot to do that the other night, so re do remind me. And I'll... Re Show how to do re so I'm putting a bit of blushing bride on. I'm trying not to allow the blushing bride to go into the mint macaron. Not mint macaron. What? Flirty flamingo. Mum, you're colourblind. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got nice bits of colour on there now. So then we're going to give this a good old spray. Now, I do have the Stampin' Up! spritzers. If you have those, use those. It's just, this is what was on my desk. Oh, and it's got stuck already. Oh, there we go. Use a Stampin' Up! spritzer. Okay, and we're just going to blob it in. Do you mean that though? When, um, when have I ever not blobbed properly? Um, oh, wow. look at Ooh, that! That's pretty. Right, so now we've got obviously got bits around that we could do with just adding a bit of extra colour. So now, if you want to wear gloves to do this, you can do. But um, we like to live dangerously, don't we, May? You know, go to bed with pink fingers and all that. If you want to, you can. The best I'm way not. to get ink off your hands is to wash your hair. Did you know that? Because then, right. So I've got still got a little bit of ink left on here. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more. Oh, wrong one. Can get rid of that one. Add some more water, and this time we're obviously going to end up with a much more muted colour palette. Which is fine because we just want something pretty muted. So look, you see how that's much much more lighter. And then again, pick up whatever colour you can to make sure that the whole piece is covered. So we've pretty much used up all the ink off there. We've not had to delve into our re-inkers or anything to get ink. We've just used the ink that's in our it's almost dry already. ink pads. May says it's almost dry already. Why is it so dry? Um, it's not quite dry. It looks dry, but it's not. Okay, so then obviously give your mat a nice wipe afterwards. And then, um, there we go. So I think I'll just get the heat tool out for a second, just to give that a little bit of a spray. Oh, no, wrong thing. I've got the glue gun. I don't want that. Okay, do you want to hold that a sec? Oh no, the dangerous tool. The dangerous tool. Of heat. It's not bad. Don't store ink pads. What is that? Uh, don't store ink pads. Don't store ink pads. Uh oh. Yeah, especially if they're very juicy ink pads. So if your paper starts to curl, just flip it and it will start curling the other way. You know what this reminds me of? Those, uh, those plastic fish you get in a cream, in a cream cracker, a uh, Christmas cracker and you put it on your hand and it starts curling up. Same principle. Heat. Heat makes things curl up. So May, touch those, is that dry? Dry enough? Yes. Okay. Oops. It's so dry it's not done. 
It's so dry. It's <laughs> this is not ready. It's going to need a bit more. It's not done. But it's completely dry though. It's not done. Okay, so I want to make this extra shimmery before we put down the um, stamp the dragonfly rather. And I'm going to just sort of put it in areas that I think I'm going to stamp the dragonfly. So I'm just looking at the image here. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to punch up. Is there a scrap bit of card down there? That, like, that orange bit of card that's on the floor. Grab that for me. Um, um, not about these, are you? Not in the colours. Just going to punch out a dragonfly and use it as a bit of a stencil so I don't waste... You know, we don't want to waste glitter, do we? So I just want to roughly put some glitter where the wings would go. Like that. I might, put, I might put a few up there as well. Well, it's not glitter, it's shimmer paint. So. Shimmer. This is gorgeous, this stuff. Gorgeous. <laughs> You're just repeating every word I'm saying. <laughs> no. Um, not all of the words. Some of them. Right, May, do you want to do the next one? What? Right. Oh, no. I'm precious. Right, so there we go. How do I do it? Okay, get the paintbrush. Hold that there. Get get some more ink, uh, stuff, glitter. So then, I'm going to get my stamp ready. So do share out this video, guys. I know some of you may have just kind of be watching on stage but you guys in the UK finish watching now so if you want to uh, invite your friends to come and have a bit of a chat it's always great to see new folks on here please say hi if it's the first time you've got onto my live hi not Wait. you <laughs> I still want to say hi to everyone <laughs> okay so I'm really inking my dragonfly up well and I'm going to aim him just over the top of where I did the glitter. I'm not really bothered about it being too strict, but... Oh, it's not gorgeous. Just checking. I've got glitter gorgeous. on Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I don't know what I've heard that of. Done. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now I wonder if you start trying to paint paint some like paint the body in or something. I wonder if it will start making the colour run a little bit. Hi, Martino. Martino. Martina. Oh, I can't speak today. I've been talking all day, so my my brain and my mouth are just not coordinated. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, right, gorgeous. let's punch these out, see what they look like. You're ruining the paper. I'm doing what? Ruining the paper. Am I? Yeah. Why? You just are. Well, what if we punch out some little flowers? Should we punch out some little flowers with the scraps? If you grab that flower punch that's up there. You can just try and see how many you can fit, how many you can get out of these scrappy bits. The punch. Flower punch. I wonder if we might, we might even get a daisy. If you get the small daisy punch, we might be able to get one out of that. So I'm just lining this up as carefully as I can. These two? Yes. So... Do the daisy first to see what we can get out of it. So sometimes I like just m making little elements like this and having a whole load of coordinated little bits and pieces ready to use on a card. I don't know quite know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just making the elements and hopefully it will come to me as, as we put it all together. 
So already I'm thinking I'd like a little bit of a darker pink on some of these dragonflies. So while mate is cutting out some flowers, I'm just going to brush a little bit of the pink onto the edge of the onto the edge of the dragonflies. Couldn't get all of this one. That's all right. We could hide that underneath something else. You see. So use. So just. Yeah. You can get one out of there, and then. I can get two up there. Ooh, oh, good. Yeah. Go for it. That'd be nice. So just these tiny, delicate, little bit of sponging just makes all the difference, doesn't it? Just really helps to bring alive. And these simple techniques, anybody can do these. Whether you're, you know, a beginner crafter or if you've been doing it a long time, these are just really simple colouring techniques that bring your crafts alive. Careful, don't punch yourself. Oh, okay. So I'm just putting some on the end, edge of this daisy. So. Yes, this is a, it's one of those dense, eggy makeup sponge things. It just I just grabbed it out of my bag. You can use anything, really. Oh, there's another one. Right, start using the little punch now. I've been known to go to a class and forget to take sponges, and I've had to grab a kitchen sponge. Believe me, they're not as good, but you know when you just need to do need to do it, you need to sponge. Or even a kitchen towel I've sometimes used. I'm like, oh I'm never forgetting my sponges again. Oh, talking of sponges, guys. Well, not sponges. Stamping up are coming out with blending brushes. Um, I saw the catalogue last night and I was so happy. So so happy. So all you guys who are in the UK and Europe who can shop with me, please, please, please buy your blending brushes from me as from January the 1st. And if you cannot wait till January the 1st, you can order, if you sign up as a demonstrator at the beginning of December, you can order out of the new catalogue. So obviously some I know some of you like to wait till celebration to sign up. But um, if you contact me, if you're thinking of signing up and you're thinking, mm, do I do it in December or January? Yes. Contact me and I will let you know what the benefits are because there are benefits to both, to be honest. So, and don't, please don't think, oh, I'm not like Ruth. I don't do, I can't do videos. You do not have to be able to do videos to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. All you need to be able to do is say, I love Stampin' Up! so much that I want to save money. And... I love making things, I love making cards, I love scrapbooking, you know, either of those topics, <laughs> either one or the other, or both, and you love giving Stampin' Up! Uh, produced product, uh, cards and things to your friends. If you're one of those people, then please contact me because you can save money, and not only that, but actually you're going to be joining a community of Stampin' Up! lovers all around the world and you get to join my team. And um, I'm growing as a leader and I'm trying to do better for my team and we have regular, we have monthly team meetings and also we have little challenges and um, they just are such a fabulous group of people. It's really fun and just an absolute honour to get to know them. So... Right, look at these gorgeous flowers. I love how they are like slightly different colours on the petals. It's such a delicate kind of like technique. So beautiful. Yes, yes. Let's put glitter on them. More glitter. More glitter. Okay, so can you paint some glitter onto those then? This is the glitter that doesn't get everywhere. I oh, know, it's great stuff. Well, this this is an old St Wink of Stella pen that is, has actually run out. So I'm just using it as a brush. Do you want to yes. So I'm using it as a brush because it's such a lovely brush. Yes, so, yes. and that's why I joined up, says Vicky. Can I 
I should be doing housework. Julie, you put me on the telly and then you can do housework while I'm on the telly. Well, that's a bit thick, so maybe spread mm -hmm. just you carry on using that stuff and spread it onto that one as well. Hold hold it with your finger. Or do you want to use the do you want to use that to hold it down? Mm-hmm. Okay, right, now we've got to think what we're going to do. I would actually really like to use the Stampin' Up note notelets that we have because they're so convenient to make cards. You get a card in an envelope in one and they're just absolutely brilliant. So, let me see if I've got all my envelopes in there. I did have my half pack of note cards. So if you've never bought these before, you get 20 notelets and envelopes. Oh, I'm going to use my new scissors. Look what I got from Stampin' Up. They sent me this gift because I'm, I've reached a certain sort of level. So I'm Silver Elite. And they sent this gorgeous gift. And it's a pair of scissors plus this amazing scissor charm. Look how gorgeous that is. It's not a bracelet, by the way. Look, it's got even got the Stampin' Up! logo on it and it's got a light bulb to show the light bulb moment you have when you go, ta-da! Look, no risk of injury. Da -da 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 -da. And then, look, you can wear it as a bracelet afterwards. Oh, I did have it as a, bra as a bracelet the other day. It sort of worked. It's my scissor bracelet. May, Dangerous. May's looking at me like, what? Look. It's my new scissor bracelet, everybody. What to thank? Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, the brushes are going to be three for eleven twenty-five. Yeah. Now, initially, when I thought saw that price, I was like, hmm, "Am I going to be struggling to get people to pay that price?" However, from what I've seen, they look like they are this size, the bigger one, that sort of size, and. Any packs I've bought in the past, you get basically you get a big, a medium, little, 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 and I've hardly ever used the little ones. So actually, three big ones is brilliant, and that should start you off. You know, if you stick to just have using one for yellows, one for for pinks, one for blues, that kind of thing, um, they're really easy to wash. And to be honest, you could actually just say, actually, I designate one for light colours, one for medium, and one for darks to start off with. So, there we go. Right, I'm just going to use my new scissors mm. to open my packet of notelets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm doing some of them with dots in the middle. Oh, that's a good idea. So I did quicker. <laughs> yeah. And it uses less. Uses less spritz. Right, I'm thinking, what about we do one, two... Should we make three cards on the go, in one go? And we do maybe a few different ways of doing a background. So let's have a look at what's in that stamp set. Because we haven't used Granny Apple Green yet. And... Do the flowers. Yes, I was thinking that, May. Mm -hmm. Yes. You could use the pens. What pens? You can use your alcohol pens. Yes, they're all black handles. So we're going to have to think of some innovative ways to put the colours of what we're using on them. I'm sure we'll figure it out, Maybe. guys. I mean, you could tie a piece of ribbon around the handle. Oh, I'm getting a bit hot. I'm going to take my scarf mm -hmm. off. Take my scarf off that has my lovely Stampin' Up! pins on them. Look. Got on the stage, I got a lolly. And where's my snail? My little snail. Oh, there we go. And this is a little bit of a hint as to a stamp set. Just saying. <gasps> There's what? a snail stamp set coming like that. It is adorable. And there is a lolly stamp set coming as well. Super cute. Oh, and the other clue I'm going to give to a stamp set is... Mummy shot, da -da 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 -da, daddy shot, da -da -da -da. No. That's it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> There's a lot. 
mean, that's a lot of a I'm clue, sure is it? You know Do you think that's is. quite a clue? Yeah, it's quite easy. <laughs> May seen it, haven't you? Yeah, seen it. What, what's the other clues we could give? Um, boing, boing, boing. What? Oh right. Guess um, the animal. Um. Um. It is for snail mail, yeah, Martina, yeah. Boing, boing, boing. The, the animal boxer. An animal boxer, mm-hmm. If, if a boxer was an animal. Yeah, if a boxer was an animal. Have they got it right, May? Have they got it right? Wow. Yeah, no, you got it. They've no, not got it right. No. No, do you know they haven't got no. it right? They haven't got they it haven't, right. They haven't got it right. Right, can I just borrow that a second? I'm going to do a swish. Oh, or should I just... Mm, I was going to do like a swish like that. Mama, could I colour in a bit in pencil? With, like, green. Yeah. Or Red. Go and get some colours. Well, no, we've got to stick to these colours. Yeah, so you can go and red. get pink and yellow. Red. Well, we want this to show up, though. Pink. Yellow. Get yellow. Yeah, so it's like yellow daisies, isn't it? Yeah. I okay. think we need to get another chair in here. Where did you put the pen? Snail! What a great pen. I'd love one of those for my daughter, Abigail. She's always been called Abby Snail. Oh! Okay, well, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I might part with it. I'll enjoy it for now though, Vanessa. Okay, so that's one of the backgrounds I wanted to do. Then the other stamp in here, which I think is really nice for backgrounds, is this one here. Yellows. Yellows, right, you start colouring that in there. I know what shape. You right down there? Yeah. Trying to colour. Oh, what was that? It was a jar. Oh, a jar fell. Oh, uh, one of those. Okay, yeah. It's all right though. Sorry the about that loud noise. Um, I'm afraid not, Vanessa. They are were just available for on stage attendees. But you never know. Do I need to colour in the middle of the flower? Or? I think I think colouring the petals will be fine. Because daisies don't have daisies. Uh, no, hold on. I'm trying to think what to do for this one now. Um, come on, guys. I want some ideas. What should I put? Hi, Tashana. You're on a break from on stage. Cool. Hope you're enjoying it. Ooh, that was close, mate. We didn't put the lid on that. Dun, dun, dun. Just while I wipe my fingers. Where's the lid? We're getting a bit cramped here. I'll put it over there for a second. Oh, there's a lid there. <gasps> that was close, wasn't it? What? Ooh. Right, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to stamp and see what happens. Hi, Marcel. Right, this is Lushing Bride. So I'm just going to stamp and stamp and stamp. You know when you just don't know what to do? You know that song that says, you know when you've run out of words to say, there's a simple song that you can, there's a word that, what's it called? How's it go? There's a word that you can say. And then, you've you, got, and then you've got quite a lot to say. And then you've got quite a lot to say. It's super colour. Well, my motto is, if you don't know what to stamp, just stamp. And see what happens. You mean stamp your foot? Stamp your foot. <laughs> if you don't know what to stamp, stamp your foot. <laughs> if you don't know what to stamp, stamp your foot, yeah. If you don't know what to stamp, stamp your foot. Um. Oh... That's pretty. Okay, so now I have said this, and I'm going to say it again. These dragonflies can really benefit from just having their wings a little bit clipped like this. Not that you're clipping their wings off, but you're dividing the wings a little bit. Also, we can fix any boo-boos that I made when I actually punched it out. There we go. It just needs a little bit of a bit cutting out of it I think to make it absolutely perfect. I went a bit messy. Oh it's alright. It's just about having fun. I think two butterflies on this one. What do you think? They're not butterflies. Uh dragonflies. Oh gosh I'm gonna have to get used to that. Mm. 
if it doesn't work it's only paper that's right right now i'm i don't like just the pink so i'm actually going to swish do a bit of swishing there like that what yeah i know because i can swish swish i'm really getting into my swishing lately this isn't normal mum it's not normal no it's not normal to swish it's not normal of you to swish it's not normal of me i swished up uh, the other night did you see the what? bags? Did you see the bags on those? Nope. No. Um, where are they? They're over there. Really bright ones. Right, you keep colouring. There we go. That's a bit better. I prefer that now. I think that shows up a bit. Now, I think this noose needs a little bit of extra sparkle. And I'm wondering whether to bring on that lovely glitzy silvery stuff which remember guys this is only available in autumn winter catalogue once it's gone it's gone my, my fingers got silver on it now wow there could be worse things to have in your fingers silver i mean like you could have a bogey it's better to have silver than a bogey little warm hand of the stuff What do you think? Do you think that looked nice? Um, no. <laughs> it doesn't. What's wrong with that? Looks like they're getting they're caught in a net. No, they're not caught in a net. Well, it looks like, like a net. It looks like they're caught in a net. And I don't want dragonflies to be caught in a no, net. No, it looks like they're spreading fairy dust. What? Why don't, don't we get think? to put glitter if they're spreading fairy dust? They're getting stuck oh, in a bed. I've got new gold things to use. I'm going to use these. Right. Look, these. Well, I got them. Right, you know, I gold if they're going to actually be spreading fairy dust. Not on well, that. what we could do is we could... Oh, dragonflies need shimmer. They need shimmer. Yes, they do. Shimmer. Uh, you can, sort of. Right, now what's happened to the lid of that? You need to put the lid on that. Yeah, honestly, crafting with one's daughter. You're mm. the one who opened it. Mm, not quite mm -hmm. sure about this business. <laughs> I still don't think you should be doing that. What What if I make it yellow? No, it still looks like it. Still looks like a net? Yes. No, it doesn't. It does. But look at you catching dragonflies. May, only if you have a spider in there too, says Martina. What? I don't like spiders. No, I haven't brought her up very well, have I? <laughs> it's because her brother didn't like spiders. Her brother got scared of spiders from a young age, and I was so I worked so hard to make sure my children wouldn't be scared of spiders, and it just didn't work. I blame the schools. <laughs> right, there we go. I think that's fine. They're caught in a net. They're not caught in a net. They're right, I need some dimensionals. Can you pass me the dimensionals over there in that box? Oh, Thank yes. you very much. Right, let's see how yours has turned out. So you've coloured in your flowers. What about this the... One. I think you probably could do with a little bit more colour. Just work. You know about these tufty bits here? Just do a little... Oh, but the lighter sorry. yellow, not the dark yellow. Maybe just do a little bit of yellow, like that. Just, oh, look, you missed one there. And that one. There we go. <sighs> Honestly, you can't get the staff these days. <laughs> Hi, Janice. Hello. Right, that's part one there. I think this will help hold it all down in place. There's so many of these. Okay, squish that up like that. On there, squish that up like that. Oh, it's so lush! The shimmer on these dragonflies is just beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, Natasha. Let's behave now, Esther. Natasha's here. Oh, hi, Ruth. Hi, Silas. Hello. 
Can, come up, can you come? Oh, I don't know what. Let me move the camera to me a bit so you can see. Oh, there we go. Hello. Right, go on. Carry on. Hi. Hey. Hi, Brandon. Or is it Charlotte watching? Hello. We've got New Zealand in the house. Well, Where the are they, the other New Zealanders? Right, look at these gorgeous. Oh, look. Oh, I, you know, nothing makes me more happy than variegated sizes. I love variegated colour, but variegated sizes. Oh, my goodness. Right. I am in happy land. Hi, Kathy. You're on stage. Enjoy. Hi, Brandon. It's a Saturday, it's a Saturday. Hope you're chilling out. No, it's Friday. No, it's Saturday in New Zealand. They're just, what? They're just waking up now. Oh. We've got a few Aussies on here. But I don't know if the other New Zealand... I do have some New Zealanders that watch. Right. Put them there. Oh, thanks, Emily. Naomi has ballet and the boys are moving compost. Excellent. I hope you're having a nice cup of coffee, Brandon. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, I feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I've got some of my busy mates watching. She's trapping. I mean, my stamping up lives. buddies are busy mates as well, but I've got busy mates that are non stamping up busy mates, if you know what I mean. <laughs> She is oh, trapping. Wendy's watching. Wendy, well, now, see, funny enough, Wendy is a busy mate, non stamping up and stamping up. Mum is trapping dragonflies in nets. Mm hmm. She's evil. Apparently so. Oh, look, that one just fits. <gasps> look at that. Look, it's beautiful. Oh, look, so then I can just put that tiny weenie one on his head. Oh, come on. Come, don't do this to me now. Oh, come on. Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It just wants to fly away, this one. I think I can move the camera right. Oh, no, it's moving. Oh, is it flipping? Is it all right? RTS has just said it's off screen. Oh, my goodness. Right, I think that was worth it, putting those gems on there. Because it does look pretty luxurious, I hope you admit. With the net as well. Thanks, May. I'm Can you pan out a little bit? Yeah. I'm trying to um, stop it from wobbling. There we go, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, just shout at me if I need to, if I need to move things. Right, okay. May, how are you doing? How's yours going? Badly. Right, I think you can stick that. No, that's fine now. I'm wondering whether just to put a little bit of yellow just around that, on that edge there. Oh, oh you know what? The swishing technique, May, you'll love it. <laughs> look, May, Quite look, good. look, it's really easy. Here you go, look, here's an ink pad. And you just, yeah. you just swish it like that. Go for it. No, no, down from the top down. Use your left hand because your left hand's stronger. No, my right hand's stronger. Right, but hold it, hold it that way. My right hand's stronger. And then pull it, pull it downwards like that. No, no, it's not moving. Oh my life! You're welcome. Hi, mum. You're welcome. <laughs> what I meant was, oh, what I should have said was. You have to have it at a bit of an angle. What? You oh, didn't well. tell me that. You oh, just well. did it too. <laughs> you did it too, Mum. Oh, look. Let's just make it a whole, a whole texture. There we go. Well done, Mum. That's you're welcome. Yes. This is what I made. <laughs> 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 right. I know what. I know what. We can save it. We can save it. Look. This is how you save a card. I didn't explain the tilting. <laughs> oh, look what mummy said. Look at what Papa said. Mm -hmm. Papa, Papa's quite good at making cars, isn't she, Esther? Oh, where's my cleaner? My cleaning cloths are underneath my laptop. 
it's your mum's fault. <laughs> I know. I made this one. <laughs> mm. I made this one. She contributed to that one, although she still said that nets doesn't work. Okay, right, uh -huh. so... I don't know why I chose the nets. So let's go with... <laughs> It can work. This can work. Look, look. If it doesn't, this I, is like I did this it. is how you go artsy. You see, this is what I would do deliberately to make make an artsy card. Oh, this wasn't deliberately though. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> <clears throat> right, and then I think some little butterflies in the corner like that. No, no, no. We can make this work. Oh, lush that is. Lush. I made this one. <laughs> Where's the dragonfly gone? There it is. I made this one and that one. There we go. Do we want a little bit of thread underneath that or anything? Mm. For a sparkle? No, you can't trap this one too. Oh, okay. You won't trap them. Right, I'm so protecting them. do you want to stick that down then with a the dragonfly? There we go. There's a dimensional there. Oh, there we go. Hey, Claudette, lovely to see you. Right, I'm just going to clean this off because I know what I'm like. I'm going to stick my fingers in this by accident. Where did I put it? I don't know. Yeah, a little bit of a tilt. There we go. Lovely. Done. Now Very this one's nice. mine. Oh, you like that one now, do you? <laughs> I mean, now I it fixed was always it. Mine. It was always mine. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, now we've got to do a third one because we've got all those flowers now. We've got all these beautiful flowers to use up. So, I think if we just get the glue, can you start, just put a tiny, tiny bit of glue in the centre of these, like that amount, a tiny amount, and then mm -hmm. can you make up doubles? Doubles. Well, I do this. Mm -hmm. How's on stage been? Oh, Claudette, it's been great. Okay, so yeah, I was going to do a bit of a on-stage catch-up, actually. So last night, um, they had the award ceremony. So I was in the list of... Oh, that one I've left... Oh, no, that wasn't good. The, the, now, you have to be careful when you remove these because sometimes the domes come away from the thing. And I found that by bending the thing back like that, that's how you make sure it all comes off properly. I don't even know really sticky. So, um, a huge thank you to all my customers, actually, because this year I reached a certain sales target and I reached over what's called... So, in Stampin' Up! World, we measure the money, sort of like in dollars, really. So... We have a system called CSV. So whenever I sell about, I don't know, 85, 90 pounds worth of stuff, I get 100, that's 100 CSV. Someone said I have beautiful hands. Oh, yeah, she's got nails, with, nails that Thank need you. cutting. Thank you so that's much. What it is. Beautiful hands. Jazz hands. So um, I reached the target of selling 100 CS, sorry, not 100 CSV, sorry. 10,000 CSV and actually I, I think I sold 10,000 pounds worth of product this year, last Stampin' Up! year. What? So the Stampin' Up! year runs from September to, sorry, October, the beginning of October, 1st of October to the end of September. So the end of, the beginning of October 2019 to the end of September 2020, I sold over 10,000 pounds of product. I know. So, so I've money. only ever done that twice in my Stampin' Up! career. And this year I reached it quicker than I've ever done it before, thanks to you guys. Whoa. So I got a special coloured badge for that, uh, which I me. shared the other day, thanks to me. And then I got a badge <laughs> for because I'd recruited people in the year. And also I had a demonstrator that uh, went up in ranking as well. So... That was pretty cool. Did you get money? Did I get money? No. Oh. So then I also I won a prize, but it's a mystery prize, so I can't even dun, tell dun, you dun. what that is. And then we had some demonstrator exa people showing 
how to use this stamp set. And so what we were meant to do is pre-cut some paper and card and things to use, but I didn't end up doing that. I ran out of time. So that's why I'm coming on now to do my little samples with these cards because you know me, I like to change it up a little bit. Right, what we're going to do on this one. So I'm just going to talk about this for a second because we need to we need to crack on. May, did you cut another daisy out of uh, I'm wondering if, look, we've got this spare here. If we cut out three, oh, another. But that's not the colours. I know, but. It's cheating, man. I know, cheating. but we've run out of daisies. It's unless there's one on the. Oh, there's, oh, there's two here. Right, you are okay, going to so, cheat. Right, let's stick these together. Uh, so, what else can I tell you? We had a really amazing training session oh, on. Mum, we've got the granny apple. Oh, Granny Apple Green. Yeah, we can put. Oh, we can put Granny Apple, Apple Granny Grapple Green on Thank here. Thank you, Auntie Esther. Would have forgot. So, what if this time we stamp that stamp um, in the round this time? So, let's get the Granny Apple Green. Yeah. So we had some really excellent training this afternoon, which I thought was brilliant, and it was just really encouraging for uh, the teamies that I have that are attending on the stage to listen to all that it was just really encouraging and uplifting and and so on so and what are you doing? we also got to see last night we got to see the stamp sets that have been designed by some of the million dollar sales achievers now later not right now please but if you want to see the stamp set that dina rico designed uh, she has just done a video on her YouTube channel of the stamp set she designed and yes I will be getting it because it's got my name written all over it. What? When you see it you will know what I mean. What is it? Does it is it all Ruth Ruth Ruth? No it doesn't say Ruth Ruth Ruth, no. <laughs> <laughs> does it have Ruth on every stamp? No it doesn't have Ruth on every stamp. No it doesn't. But when you when you're not they know what I mean. <laughs> no, Sam's hasn't come out yet, Claudette, because I th I think it's because she only just designed it, so it won't be. So the people who were the million dollar achievers who had stamp sets shown this year, I mean they they achieved it back in like 2018 because that's how long it takes for for it all to kind of get sorted. Million dollar. Million dollar. Whoa. So um. Yeah, so Jackie Bolheist did a design as well. It is full of flowers. Yeah, Martina, it is full of flowers. And Jackie Bolheist has got all sentiments. So if you like sentiments, and they're really classic ones, really beautiful. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, and then there's a cute, like, girlfriends kind of theme stamp set with ladies. Um, sort Ish. of like cartoony sort of style and sort of slightly man. Would you say they're slightly manga y May? No. No. They're cartoon. They're cartoon. Um, they're sort of like cutesy teens, sort of, but but fun adult or female, if you know what I mean. It, it depends what you're into, really. Right, May. I think we could do with just twisting some of the. Do you know how to do this technique where you just you, give, give these a little I like bit of a. What? Do I, may yeah may yeah may I think preferred the kangaroo set though I I yes. did show it to May and she was mm, like that about it don't so think I'd use it. you oh so May says she doesn't think she'd use it I think I use the kangaroo May yeah the kangaroo set is really cute there's a, a quite a sweet Easter set there's two Easter sets and one of them is um, got he is risen and also he is um, what's that verse from um, he is not here, he is risen, I think it is. I don't know. And then there is quite a sweet sort of, you know, bunny theme, bunny and type one, which is... I think the drawing style is really on point. Um, yeah. There. Oh, I tell you what I was really pleased about. There is, you know, we've been going on about how you've got to stamp your copyright stamping up signs on things. And I was a little bit disappointed that the only stamp set at the moment you, is like a 24, 25 pound stamp set. 
for those of you who are card makers. There is coming out a £16 stamp set that has copyright stamping up and it's very sort of like craftsy orientated. Ooh. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, um, oh yes, a grand there is a grandparent set. That was designed, that was a million dollar design. Million dollars just to buy that. <laughs> Everybody needs any any YouTubers out there. If if you want May in your lives, just let me know. Everybody needs a May. I mean, Every, I wouldn't even spend that much money. Everyone needs the voice of cheekiness in the background. <laughs> well, I wouldn't pay a million dollars just to get a grandparent stamp. <laughs> uh, I don't even have that amount of money. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, but Wendy, you've been using it to do lettering, whereas this one doesn't have lettering in it. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, she's here all week. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, May? Why would you not buy a grandparent stamp set for your papa for a million pounds? Um... <laughs> yeah. Not, not so noisy now. I wouldn't... I mean, I just, like, I could... Go and see her for less than a million. Oh, that's true. Oh, so. see, Papa, she could come and visit you for less than a million. I know, I mentioned the blending brushes, Janice. I'm so happy yeah, about the million. blending brushes. What a waste of money. Oh, also, I'm quite excited. There's some new laser cut, like, lacy paper. You know me, I like to have a nice bit of lacy paper to be my new stencil. <laughs> I need a new stencil. So I was pleased about that. There was... a a stamp and a, a, a die that would make a really lovely lacy stencil, actually. Um, what sort of face used it? Sh Shona? Shola? Sh Shannon. No, Shannon used it this nice morning. It's not nice to call people what's her face. I couldn't remember her name. Or like Mrs. What's her face. Mrs. Or what's... Mr. What, what's his face. But you can't remember. It's not nice. It's rude, Mum. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Delinda. Well answered, May, says Papa. Yes. Yeah, so you can't say anything wrong to Papa, can you? <laughs> Wanda likes Dina's set. Oh, yeah. Are, are you signed into watching on stage, Wanda, or have you just seen it on her channel? Yeah, see, Martina says her grandchildren are much nicer to her than you are. <gasps> I mean, I can't say anything because I don't well have grandchildren. Well done, Janice. So, I don't have grandchildren. Right, what do you think? What's, what about that on there, like that? And we can put some of these yeah, gems. Yeah, wobbly. I know, I haven't stuck it down yet. Yeah, please tell them. Well, butterflies, you know, dragonflies, they're flying, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, butterflies. I keep saying butterflies. I'm gonna to have to get used. To... Oh, that's not too. That's too small, isn't it? Too small. Yeah, we're gonna to have to stick something else. Something else there first, I think. Glitter. Glitter. <laughs> oh, actually, if I stick that on first, and then put the glitter around it. There we go. Let's get some of that on there like that. Do a little wiggly woo. Oh, what? Wiggly woo. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, me. <mate>. Cheers. <laughs> Just, Just you wait honest. until I'm really properly crazy. Then you love me then. <laughs> well, at least now I can give you hugs. Nice hug. I've told my kids I'm going to have a playlist of music that I'm going to want to listen to when I've got dementia so what? that they know the music that's going to keep me happy. What? You not heard me tell, say the boy, I told the boys this. I said no. I'm going to have a playlist of all the music that will keep me I'm happy. I'm sure you said that when you get really old you're going to start swearing if you get dementia. Oh, I'm absolutely <laughs> paranoid that that's going to be me. I'm, go I'm going to be one of those old grannies that swears at everybody. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big swearer in real life. I swear in my head sometimes. And if I'm really, really, really cross, I do swear out loud. But I'm really paranoid. I've never heard mama swear. No, my, my children haven't heard me swear. 
Um, but I am paranoid that that I'm going to turn into one of those old people that, that just swears at everybody. <laughs> you already am. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> not yet. What? Who's saying that? Me. Good plan, Ruth, says Natasha. Oh, no, my grandchildren are much nicer to me than my own children. <laughs> uh, I, th I think that happens the world over, Martina. That is not just your... I think that it happens a lot where grandparents feel, you know, closer. Right, how's it going? Every how's that looking, everybody? What do you think? I feel like it just needs a little bit of green in the middle. So, May, can you grab the Granny Apple Green uh, alcohol pen? We'll just put a little bit of green. It just feels I just need to connect the green up to that. And um, I'm wondering whether to just put a very tiny hint of cherry cobbler, just to connect again, to connect it all. So when you're creating cards, uh, yeah. it is great to have a colour scheme, Green. but sometimes schemes just need to be... I don't know what, you, you colour in just the body of that there. And I'm going to look for my sponge. I just want to put a little hint of red just in a couple of places. Nothing like avert, just... Just a little tiny swish like that. They are just going to set you in front of a crafting table with your music and you're going to be happy. Thanks, Navarana. Yes. Help you forget. Just give me coffee and chocolate and I'll be fine. <laughs> coffee, chocolate and some pistachio nuts. There we go. Thank you, May. You're welcome. Janine says she's halfway to one of those old people. Oh, and I can't wait to pretend to pretend I'm deaf as well. <laughs> you what? What? What'd you say? If you say that, Anne's not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm going to make you think that you're deaf. Time for bed? No. <laughs> yeah, Miss May is supposed to be helping me, but... Um... Right, do we want it to the left, to the left, or do we want it to the right, to the right? To the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Haha, <laughs> we can ignore no. people exactly. Might need a oh, we can mutter under our breath just loud enough for people to hear us, but then we can pretend we said it under our breath as well. <laughs> what? Oh, and then we can give, we can give kids sweets as well. Our granny's <laughs> allowed to give kids sweets. If you end up giving my kids sweets, I'll steal the sweets back. Like, no! Through mid, so that... Through what, Natasha? So you can see more of the flowers. Ah, OK, Natasha wants to see more flowers. What about down there, then? No, <gasps> oh, actually, yes, we could do that because we still have some of the smaller dragonflies that they could be flying off up here, couldn't they? I think these need a little bit of cherry cobbler on the ends like that. Oh, look! How Isn't that what grandparents are meant to do? They're meant to bring sweets and cakes and stuff. Two other people have put some. I can't wait to mutter everything that comes into my head. <laughs> Spoil them rotten and send them home. I know. <gasps> oh, Martina sent me a parcel. I love it when I get parcels from Martina. And tutting and sighing, yes. I do that already, actually. <laughs> oh, stick, my, stick a bonnet on my head and call me an old lady. You're going to get a walking stick. Oh, and, and I want to be able to wear odd clothes. Like, oh, my joy. <laughs> I was going to say I want to wear odd clothes. I want to wear odd clothes. I want to wear mismatching clothes. And then and people just go, oh, it's because she's old. <laughs> And saying, oof, when I get out of a chair. No, you see, I'm going to hopefully, if I keep doing my Alexander technique, I'm not going to be saying oof. Because my back is going to be in wonderful condition. <laughs> Until one day. Until one day, I'll say oof. <laughs> I want more hugs. Right, oh, these, these are getting a bit lost, aren't they, these little dragonflies? Shall I go darker? Maybe add green to them. 
because oh. otherwise they look like flowers. Or they, otherwise they look like flowers. They blend with the flowers. Okay, hold on. Where's the other? Did I have some other little dragonflies, or I just use them all up? Can I cut? Um, can I cut some more out of here? What Remember, happens at Granny's flowers. stays at Granny's. Oh, is that so, Janice? Ah, that's There's a little one here. No, that's that wasn't one of them. Yeah. Right, shall we see? Is this Granny Apple light or dark? Dark. Oh, can you get me a light, please? Now all the secrets are coming out. Miss Janice Thompson, Mrs. Janice. Oh yeah, and mixed patterns, Delinda. Oh yeah, love it. You know what? You know how my stamping is. That I'm aiming for that in my clothing. Right, Granny. I'm I'm wearing a Pakistani sh oh no Indian shawar kameez today. Everybody, look. How lush is that? Is it? Oh, and then I can show you my socks as well in a second. I will tell you, no, an absolute true story which gave me lots of leeway after here. Oh, yes, no, I know this story. Is this the one about your garden, Martina? Martina is her town's batty old lady. <laughs> Me meant in, with the greatest of respect, Martina. Greatest of respect. Martina reminds me of the granny from Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Wait, what? With she's pearls as well. Oh, yeah, with pearls. Wait, Martina's a wolf? No, she's the granny. She gets eaten by the wolf. Ah, that's not nice. If anyone's ever seen a picture of Martina, they'll know exactly what I mean. <laughs> oh, Ruth, don't mix patterns. <laughs> Mum makes some patterns. I I do mix. Well, I'm I'm not. No, I've got plain leggings on. You'll be pleased to hear, and I've got a plain cardigan on. There we go. Right, I've coloured these in green. So let's see how these work now. May, what do you think now? Do you think that's better with the green dragonflies? Mm, yeah. They show up a little bit they more. They look now, like don't mangoes. They? they look like mangoes. That Apart was that not one. the aim. Well, it does. They look like mangoes. I don't think we need. One. Well, the colours are mangoes. What, the orangey colours, you mean? Yeah, and then there's also yellow and green. It's a mango. <laughs> My grandson tells me he loves me because I don't tell the tales. What? One day 72 today? Right. Okay. We would sing you happy birthday, Wanda. But we would just say it. Happy birthday. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Happy you. Birthday Happy birthday to you. To you. Mummy, sing it. Go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda. Wanda. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy. Yes. Can we sing it in <laughs> harmony? Can you sing the normal, normal tune? Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Oh, May. <laughs> May's record has got stuck. I don't want to sing. Right, my mother says to stop there, not to put any more on there, so I will. Right, where's my bone folder? Bone folder. Let's just make sure this is creased properly. Um, have you okay. ever broken a card by doing that? Broken a card? By like uh, creasing it too no. much, so it just breaks. No. <laughs> I've sometimes broken one of these daisy petals by doing it. You know you can you can do this to these daisies. Sometimes I rip them by accident. <laughs> but there we go. We have had a nice time at On Stage to Linda, yeah. So mine finished at three o'clock. I think the Americans are just finishing now. Um, Martina is beautiful. Yeah, she is. Um, bit of social distancing on the card, please. 
No, I don't think the dragonflies are affected by. I mean, that, the well, that one's work. being fine. These two. These two are. They 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 live in the same household. It's fine. These guys, they going against. They going against the rules, are they? Yeah. Oh dear. Well, just as a historical, you know, note. This is now November 2020 and the C virus is still around and the American election has just happened and there may be a new king on the throne. Who? So, when I say king on the throne, I just mean a new president. But anyway, I'm still not, I haven't, complete, I haven't seen the official news yet, but... Me neither. There we go. Just saying. I'd just like to have this as a bit of a historical record, really. I wonder whether Wanda still wonders a, a lot about everything. That's, that makes a really nice riddle, doesn't it? <laughs> Not everything, but lots. Still counting, says Closet. Okay. Oh, yes, and then the Australians are just about to go into the second, uh, third day of on stage. Third day? Yes, because it's, it's the morning for them, so they're just about to start again. So we're going to go to bed and then get up for the next next morning. So. Oh, I did yeah. not have more on Monday. So. so there we go. Like, if you want to cast your votes, guys, one, two or three, let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. I'm, I'm sorry if we've been a bit too raucous for you this evening. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it just gets like, it's that Friday night feeling, isn't it? We just get a bit silly. Don't vote this no, one. Don't they're vote catching the. They're, they're trying to but I, catch them in nets. I think this was a good save. If you didn't see what happened, you need to rewind about twenty it's minutes. Nets. It's a net. Oh, mate, still doesn't like the nets. They're catching the, the, the dragonflies. Oh wow. So let's go over the colours. Let's go over the products, and then. You can have a go doing this yourself when you get your hands on this stamp set. It is absolutely delightful to use. Oops, excuse me. And there we go. Right, so ink colours. We used Granny Apple Green, So Saffron, Flirty Flamingo, Blushing Bride and Cherry Cobbler. And we stamped onto some Shimmer White cardstock, or rather we splodged onto shimmer white cardstock nah. so i'll just go through the process again there's no green in this one. Oh dear oh wow so we got the ink pads we got the flirty flamingo the blushing bride and the so saffron and we splodged it on gave it a spritz dipped some shimmer white cardstock we've still got some little spare bits here actually into it sprayed again with water dunked it again and then we painted some shimmer paint from the this one. This is available in the annual catalogue, Frost White. Now this is a lovely little product for if you are an avid crafter and you've got loads of stuff already and this and you want to just like you know add a little sparkle to your new create your Christmas creations or your birthday cards and things this is a really lovely product it comes this is a frost white one and it comes in a champagne as well so it's just like a lovely pale gold which would have actually worked really lovely with this this technique and um it's got a little ball in it so that it doesn't settle you can you give it a good shake before you use it and the other thing i've seen people do and i think dina rico does this i've mentioned her name twice now tonight is she puts some of this into a spritzer bottle with some rubbing alcohol what? <laughs> yes, May is still commentating um, and she sprays it on her cards just to give it an overall shimmer so that is something you can do with these as well and what was the <laughs> um, anyway um, so then I stamped the dragonflies in cherry cobbler and then we just had a play creating backgrounds using the fabulous Dragonfly Garden, which, as I said, will be available for demonstrators from the 1st of December. If you're finding that you are a regular customer and you're spending on average about £100 a month, please contact me because I can save you money by basically encouraging you to be part of my team. Wait, so, so do you get money from that? Do I get money from what? The way they save money. Eventually, yes. 
So give mum money and save you money. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> so basically it saves you money and it makes me a little bit of money. Give so. mum money. Shh. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> this is not the way I do sales, <laughs> just letting you know. Oh dear. Oh, that's true. Anyway, so we created a lovely background using these little floaty... I, I can't decide, are those dragonflies or butterflies, May? What do you think? Pen? Are those dragonflies or butterflies? Those ones are butterflies. Okay. So I only use that stamp tonight, but there is that one as well. And there is this lovely light blotchy thing that you can use to colour in. I didn't use that tonight, but I did use this one here, which is very pretty. And so... If you didn't see what happened on this card, we stamped it in green first, May beautifully coloured it in, and then I tried to show her how to do the technique of swiping, and we ended up with a lot more yellow on than we intended. You didn't teach me anything. I didn't teach her properly, apparently. Uh, so we me. made it into an artsy card. We saved it. Nat says favorite. Christine Morgan. My favourite. Okay, right, and then we use some of that lovely silvery stuff. I'm just laughing net. at the conversation between Martina and Janice. It's hilarious. Um, May says that that's a net, and then we cut <laughs> out some flowers with the leftover shimmer white cardstock with the daisy punch and the flower punch, and just made a kind of like lovely background and stuck the dragonflies on. And then we use some alcohol pens as well. So I'm sorry, we have used a lot of product tonight. I do know some of you do have a lot of product, so this will just help you. You don't have to make three know cards. How to use it? No, you don't have to make three cards. But it's probably better to make two because you'll have yours up all the ink. Um, yeah, that's thing. true. So this one was probably a little bit more product heavy because it used all the other punches as well. But you could probably go pretty far to creating these. You don't, and you don't need to have these pens to create those. You just need some of that, some ink, and some cardstock. And the set, so. <laughs> you two are funny. Right, I'm going. <laughs> Before it absolutely descends into chaos. Right, lots of love to you all. Really lovely to have your company. Um, please subscribe if you don't already. And I'll see you guys again next week with more news about Stampin' Up, hopefully. Oh my goodness, my mum is watching Mulan. Are you watching the live action, mum? Or the um, cartoon one? Thank you, Kate. I forgot about that. Yes, and if anyone wants to purchase any of the products seen, just contact me. And give a thumbs up. Yes, remember. And subscribe. Thumbs up. Uh, your way of giving me a hug. A, the Disney one. Oh, you know what? My favourite line. What's my favourite line from Mulan in the song? The only girl that loves him is his mother. <laughs> oh, she's watching the new film. What? Mother, we haven't even watched that yet. Gosh, my mum is well on trend. She's like way ahead of the kids. Why pray to our pop ancestors? Pop pop then how can they be lucky? They're dead. Oh, yeah, is that your favourite line? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, Vicky. Have a great on stage. Bye bye. Hello. Right. 50 bye, everybody. People. 50 people. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.